I fucking all y'all wanna be snakes, snakes, slept this, slept that. All y'all niggas is dicked out, y'all some dick riders, and y'all need to go. And then you say, when Abby died, you got top rank. Nigga, that's what you wanted. You know, I ain't gonna say what I feel like on here, but that's what you wanted, my nigga. Cause I really feel some other kind of way behind my fucking daddy died, but I ain't gonna speak on that. But yeah, you want you wanted my daddy fucking spot. That's why the fuck you did all that, bro. You doing all that. Yeah, make I wanna see you make a song without putting without putting this fucking name in the song. Without putting this name in the song. Yeah, that's your favorite punchline. That's your favorite punchline. You can't make a hit, my daddy name ain't in it. Now tell, now tell me am I wrong? Come on now, bro. Man, that nigga ain't take care of shit when my dad died. He had his own personal beat with all the niggas that died. His own personal beat. That that that, that wasn't because of my fucking daddy died. Nigga, my people clear the business when my fucking daddy died. That nigga ain't do shit. What's poppin', man? What's poppin', man? And old man got down. That was Lil Ivy Jr. You know, the nigga Boosie already talking about in his songs and shit. And he tell you he holding it down for him and everything. That's his son. And his son is clearly saying... Boosie don't even fuck with them like that. His mom been had to do everything by herself. And he felt like Boosie saying that is taking credit from his mama and what she doing. And if you listen to Boosie, Boosie say he take care of niggas' kids, when, his niggas' kids when they pass away. So if that's the case, how would Lil Ivy Jr. go on this rant? about how he used his daddy's name to get some clout. And also, the nigga say, Boosie always wanted the nigga spot. Now, that's some deep shit, man. Boosie always wants the nigga spot. And you gotta understand, when niggas is on some envy, jealous shit, ain't no telling what they'll do. A nigga will whack you just to take your spot. Then you got him saying he feel kind of iffy about what happened to his daddy. So me, I'm picking up. He feel like Boosie has something to do with his daddy getting murked. You know what I'm saying? Like, why would you? Why would he throw that out there? That he feel a way about how his daddy died, but he don't want to speak on that. Then. Motherfucker say Boos ain't even slide for his daddy or do nothing for his daddy. He said the niggas that died, the motherfucker was thinking Boosie did that because of some shit for Ivy. Nah, that was some personal beef Boosie had with them niggas. Look, Ivy say them his people slid on uh slid for Ivy. And I'm not saying his people, like his people is motherfucking teenagers. I'm talking about they little side of town, they little click. So that's some deep shit to think about, man. Y'all leave in the comment box. Tell me what y'all think about Boosie and Lil Ivy Jr. exposing Boosie for not really holding Ivy down after he passed away and hitting that. They have some type of beef. Because I heard the day before Ivy died, Boosie brought Ivy a pint of lean and Ivy declined it. And later on, it was a fight broke out or some shit. And that day, Ivy died. So I don't know, man. But drop in the comment box, man. Tell me what y'all think. Subscribe to the channel. Like, share, all that shit. You already know what it is. It's Triggs Amos Podcast. The best damn podcast. I'm out this bitch. You bitch.